Back Bedrooms 2017, the election series. Look at this. We are here tonight and um, sort of a mix of uh, emotions, really. Um, got a bit of sadness here the last show, but anyway, nevertheless, I spotted someone in the audience who is well known to a lot of you by co host for eight years, Damien Christie's in the house. Look at that. He's here. We will. Um, um, he's right behind all those um, um, legalised marijuana posters. He hasn't, he, hasn't, he hasn't become an MP for them. I, <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, but uh, hey, great to see you, Damien. Now, before we get into the show, our three MPs want to um, do something to New Zealand First's Tracy Martin. Have a look. Oh. Tracy. <laughs> Um, why is that? Because uh, <laughs> why is Don't that? Don't touch me, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, the negotiations have already started up in the green room. They're continuing over beers uh, here. Uh, why is that? Because New Zealand First, for those who don't know, is the kingmaker uh, and queen and and uh, such. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Jason. All Tracy. the queen maker. All the queen maker. <laughs> oh, the queen oh maker. that's a hint. <laughs> uh, well, my God, here we go. All right, hey, look, a big round of applause for uh, 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 Wairiki National MP, Matt Ducey. Thank you, Wallace. Thank you. Good to have you Good on the show. Good to see Why you. Why makariri? Why makariri, sorry. Why makariri. Oh, hey, now, 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 I understand, <laughs> is it true, that you have the largest increase of any electorate? You. Uh, for the electorate vote went from two and a half thousand to just under ten thousand. Well, yes. that deserves an applause, doesn't it? I mean, really? Thank you. I mean, a, so, so, what's what's the Matt Ducey secret? Oh, you, you'd have to ask a voter. I, I'd, well, hard work, but in fairness, all MPs work very hard. All right. Okay. Right. Who won the election? Well, the National Party, forty-six percent, fifty-eight oh. MPs. All no right. doubt about that. Okay. Can you, can you assure New Zealanders now that you will not use the words strong or stable for the next three years? No. <laughs> we are the party that is strong and stable. Okay. You haven't got a government yet, though. What, 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 sort of message, what sort of New Zealand do you want for the next three years? Um, I firmly believe New Zealand uh, has never been at a place where the rural and urban divide has been so great. And I think we need to bring that back together. And finally, what message do you have for Winston Peters? Um, I will think I'll, I'll leave my messages for Winston Peters at the moment. OK, all right. Hey, now a big round of applause for New Zealand First, Tracy Martin. <laughs> Amazing. The only party that is guaranteed to get into Parliament. <laughs> government. Go government. 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 All right, here we go. Um, who won the election? Nobody knows yet, really, because there's 384,000 special votes still to be counted. What, what, sort of, what sort of New Zealand do you want I for, the, for the I, next three years? Yeah, I want a New Zealand where we're all proud of the standard of living that every single one of our citizens has. All right. <laughs> and do you know, do you know in your head which way Winston will go? Uh, no, because it's a conversation that we're having as a caucus and as a party. So he hasn't told you... No, I don't work in a dictatorship. Do you know me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, to have, good, good to have you. Is he here tonight? He often comes for a, uh, a soda. Um, no. All right. Hey, look, a big round of applause for um, a, a Labour MP for Mana, Chris Farfoy. <laughs> good, good, on, good to have you, Hi, Chris, as well. Good and Fraser, good to have you here as well. Um, and, of course, um, increased majority, is that right? Yes, so far. So far, yes, that's <laughs> right. All right. Um, who won the election? Um, I think voters did, and we're going to have to figure out. <laughs> oh, come on. I haven't oh, finished yet. Come on, I haven't Chris. finished yet. And we're just going to have to wait till October the 12th, which um, feels like a second election day. All right. <laughs> what sort of New Zealand do you want for the next three years? One way we could have a strong economy and a government that cares at the same time. All right, OK. Um, and can you assure New Zealanders that you won't use the words relentless or positive for the next three years? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, no, I can't, I can't do right. that. And what, what, what message do you have for Winston Peters tonight? Oh, he's a great New Zealander. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be hilarious tonight, my gosh. 
<laughs> oh, dear. Uh, and look, a big round of applause for Green MP Eugenie Sage. Kia ora. Good to have you on, Eugenie. Eugenie, who won the election? Well, the majority of people voted for change, so voters. We uh, need to change the government. All right. Now, now, you are going to be part of the negotiating team. So, to Winston, what's the opening line? Let's talk, Winston. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Um, will you be presenting gifts, like, for example, I don't know, frankincense or something? No, we do things by policy. What makes a better Aotearoa? All right. And is there any way, is there any way, because it's been the talk of social media, um, is there any way that Greens will go with National? There's a lot of discussion to be had, Wallace. All right, very, very good. OK. So, but it's quite obvious from what we've campaigned on, there's a massive difference in policy. It would require the leopard to change its spots very significantly. We've seen no signs of that. Yeah. So, But you're still open to it? That's no, right. not really. Uh, OK. <laughs> All right, OK. Um, Charlotte, welcome to the show. Wallace well, Chapman. Show. Well, yeah. You've been great. Oh, You've been I've loved great. this show. I've loved this show. Guess, guess what? Can what? I tell you a little secret? Yeah. I just saw perhaps the kingmaker walk into this bar. So we may even have a special surprise on the show later. Where is he? In the other bar. Oh. He went to, I know, I know. There have been some winners and losers, which we'll talk about very soon in the top five. But James Nicosi, come across. You've got a little bit of a, a, a sad point of view with the... Uh, Ele election, right? Yeah, I don't usually dress up like this, but I thought uh, we just have a bit of a memorial uh, for uh, the DMPs we've lost. We've lost some great characters, especially to this show. I have to start with the poster child for backbenchers this year, Madama Fox. Fantastic, Madama yeah. Fox. Yeah. The double fingers. The double fingers. Uh, we lost. Uh, we lost Te Ururoa Flavel, and I always loved Te Ururoa for how he really made National MP struggle to say his name properly. Um, <laughs> we've, we've lost Peter Dunn, the great quiff of New Zealand politics. That's right. Although uh, we've replaced him with the lead singer of Take That, so that's nice as well. <laughs> we've, we've lost Mojo Matters, and on a serious note, I do think representation matters. And yeah, so yeah. I think mean, that is quite sad that yeah. we've lost that representation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of representation, we also lost Matilda today, which I think means that Maori women as leaders got wiped out during this election period, which we should probably all talk about starting next week. Uh, <laughs> and of course, that's probably why uh, we've also not lost Don Brash, who for, for some reasons is still alive and appearing as a racist zombie on <laughs> morning television. Uh, I will say, this is how racist Don Brash is. He only does daytime television so he doesn't get a tan. <laughs> James Nicosi. One round of applause for James Nicosi. Yay. Very cool. <laughs> hey, Charlotte, I've, I've got to say, I've got to say, you have been, been one of the best co hosts, but oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dying to hear what Damien Chris has got to say for himself. I want to see if he's actually. Is that really him or an imposter? Can you go and say hi to him? Okay. See, see, see if that's actually Let me Damien, try and find... the Damien Christie. Damien Christie. Oh, hi, it feels Charlotte. like I'm kind of. No, I'm not looking in a mirror at all. But you did my job <laughs> should, for many years. One of us should be so lucky, Charlotte. I did do it for, for, for just eight years, you know. Um, but uh, it's nice to be here. It's lovely to be uh, back in Wellington. I happened to be in Wellington for the last day, and I thought, why the hell not come back and uh, spend the last, uh, last backbench show for the year? And okay, it's, a let me... it's a cliffhanger ending. Well, yeah. let me put you on the spot then. Um, for years, you used to throw to the top five. How about you do it again? But before we do all that, let's check out the top five. <laughs> The most powerful woman in the world just clings to power. Taking a knee is tearing apart Trump's America. But for us this week, the top five is all election mania. No clear winner yet, but one thing's for sure, Winston's got his grin on. <laughs> Predicted return of the kingmaker. Give him the sword of the king. Become who you were born to be. In weeks to wait while he decides who'll get his vote. Other winners on both sides stepped up. James Shaw celebrated just surviving. This has been the fight of our lives. The new kids on the block had that first day of school feeling. That is the beehive behind me. But they don't even know who the principal's going to be. <laughs> Alongside winners, there must be losers. Tears from Te Uraroa. Anger from Marama Fox. Congratulations, Labour. 
Congratulations, you got exactly what you wanted. Gareth Morgan's top missed out entirely. While Seymour's back, but he'll remain a solo act. <laughs> On the big night, Winston rushed away from his own party. Now, ten minutes' time, the ferry's leaving. Jacinda's partner turned on the charm for the tally networks. You guys are standing out here, so why not come out and offer you some of what we're enjoying inside? The blue team's social media queen got her own back. Hi, sweeties, it's me, Paula Bennett. <laughs> Picking up the phone, though, seems tough for the main players. My staff are in contact with Mr Peter's staff to arrange for... A, uh, an individual phone call. My plan is um, to make some calls later later in the week over the next few days. Uh, no, we will not be ringing the National Party. So Mr Peters keeps the control. Why would I tell you? While we wait and wait and wait for the real winner to be revealed. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to announce it tonight, we have a new co-host for Back Venus 2018. <laughs> He's very good. He's a great communicator. Winston, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to ask you, well, you have to say it. You call me an naysayer, but Labour or National? Labour what? And national? What? Forget it, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go. He'll have a go at you, I'm Wallace. I'm going to go. I'm going to You go. did a press conference today where you really told the media off, didn't you? No, no, I gave them a few home truths. They can't take it. Too bad. Get out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. We're staying here, right, Wallace? I'm, We're I'm, in the game. I'm, 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 I'm going to ask you the one question that I asked all the MPs here. In the next three years, what sort of New Zealand do you want, Winston? Well, one that's doing a whole lot better than it's doing right now. Can you, guarantee, can you guarantee that? In fact, that might be the first chance I've had to get my message away to the yeah. public, <laughs> unadorned and untrammeled and unedited by you guys. We don't edit the show. We're we live. <laughs> well, that's why I came on live. Oh, very, very good. Well, we're, we're, we've got Tracy Martin sort of representing you tonight, so... Um, yes, I know. So, oh, you do know. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and, I, and I've got we're to say... safe hands. Yeah, yeah so, oh, And you. one final comment. I was in the plane when Stephen Joyce was waiting for you to, to put up your luggage there. Um, I noticed that um, he tried to bend over backwards to uh, help you with your luggage, uh, but you didn't need it. Mate, you're worse than Paddy Gow. Keeps on making it <laughs> as you go along, right? <laughs> if Paddy says something... Find the opposite. All right. Hey, round of applause for Winston Peters. Thank and, you. And the, and the team here. Good on out. Very good. Thanks for coming. Cheers, Derek. Cheers, Fletcher. Very good. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.